Hello, Buddhas. Welcome back. I had some learning to do this summer, and it turned out to be the most wonderful thing. This is going to be the first of an entirely new series from the Buddha Billionaire, and I'm not going to delete my existing catalog. There's going to be a gap. You'll be able to see that. I'm not going to try and hide that in any way, but I realized something this summer. There is only God. And I'm not going to try and convince you. But if you'll give me a moment of your time, I would like to talk about it. That's what I'm realizing this is. This is not me trying to be like, try these four ways to manifest the thing that you want to, ta-da, manifestation. No, Buddhist, that's not what this is about at all. Because you can intellectually know something better than you even know yourself. But you're missing the mark. Because if you don't know yourself, then you really know nothing about anything to begin with. And the self-pun there is in reference to God. That's kind of the point. This whole experience has nothing to do with you. And I had to realize that for myself and realize that in my own thoughts to say, this has nothing to do with me. But it's all about me at the same time. I was trying to force my way into having a discourse with an audience, into having value, into making money on YouTube, and all of these things that I had hovering around in my head. But I wasn't doing what the people were actually asking for. And so I had to study. And I went deep. I went off the deep end, really, all summer long. This was summer 2021 for anyone that's going back and checking this archive because this is where to start. You don't get to start from the first day. You have to start at this video. And if you do that, then magic will happen. That's kind of the idea. Now, that doesn't mean that watching, let's say, the 2000th video and then having to go back and start. It doesn't mean that you're screwed if you started there. No, but... This is a download of information. This is not Alex thinking. This is whatever you want to interpret it. I like to think that it's a 21st century take on the Buddha concept because I think that we have our time periods very sorely screwed up as a species. And we think that people that came before us were dumber than us for some reason. And that's just not the case. Let's just put Buddha right here and let's not claim to be him but let's claim to know him. That, to me, is so much more important than someone who's a nobody. I'm nobody. I have a menial government job. I do my best at it, but I still run up against situations that I need to learn and figure out. And I'm not making anywhere near as much money as I want to be making. Not because I think the amount of money that I'm making is wrong, but because I have desires that exceed my current reality. And I am at a point now where I'm willing to publicly admit that I'm not satisfied with that. I'm not going to say, yep, my life is great. It's not the case. My mentality is phenomenal and fantastic because I'm consciously aware of how I feel. That's a big step, Buddhas. And we're going to cover all of this stuff in more detail, by the way. That's the point of this video. This is just coming through now. And that is that for for one way or another of saying this, this is channeled work. Alex didn't write this ahead of time creating the script. This is coming on the fly right now. And as far as I'm aware, and I still have the conscious awareness of what's happening as a little voice in the back of my head that is myself, but as I am aware of this now, I feel that this is authentic in a way. And the voice keeps saying, it's the Buddha. <laughs> but it's not, for, it's not for me to claim that I am some kind of reincarnation. No, I am Alex. I'm Alex, a 28-year-old male living in Ottawa, Canada, with a menial government job. That's me. I'm not trying to say I'm anything more than that. But that's me if you just look at me. That's like that first impression that people see automatically. 
But then there's layers to everybody's personality. And one of the layers of personality, again, if we go into the concept that everything is one connected universe, that God, for lack of a better term, honestly, I'm a fan of it at this point. Um, it's more about what I want to tap into and what I want to express to those who are around me. See, and that was a train of thought that took us on a little bit of an aside there, so I don't actually remember what I was mentioning beforehand. I think it has something to do with how these videos are going to come out consecutively, going back and starting from the beginning, which is very important, because it's the order in which I did it, right? If you want to copy my success, and I am starting to witness literal God successes, then copy through my journey, not in order to take what I've garnered from me, because I can't, I can't give it to you. I cannot give you what I know, but if you pay attention to what I have to say, then you can learn what I know, and then you will experience the same things in your reality, in your own unique way. And now I'm going to bring up a subject that might be sore for some people, and that is the Bible. That is any religious writing or concept or ideology or anything. And I'm talking all the way from the book written thousands of years ago. And there's a couple. More than a couple. There's been many. <laughs> but the book's written thousands of years ago. And a tarot reading that you watched on YouTube today. Those are the same thing. And I'm going to eventually explain how all of that works. Again, this is a working title because I'm taking this in one take because it's authentic and it's how the way, the way that I like to roll. And that is that this is kind of an outline of what to expect moving forward with the Buddha billionaire. Because, oh, that felt really good, by the way, Buddhas. We're going to talk about moving energy in the body as well because that's an incredible skill and really satisfying and before we get on to that, I'm going to explain the monetization platform here as well. I am obviously going to run YouTube ads and get monetization that way organically from the collective. Sorry, guys, mid-roll ad here. But that's because I want to make this my thing and I want to do this full time. You got to make money. and You got to eat. And honestly, I appreciate you watching those ads and I appreciate you clicking through the duration and letting... And uh, Buddhas, this is the point where the battery died on the camera, so we don't have any video for this segment now because I didn't bring more packs. Oh, but we're going to solve that problem as well. We need a larger memory card, and we need... Oh, that's what this is going to be for frog snacks, Buddhas. I've been trying to become a YouTuber. It's a waste of time. This is going to be a podcast. And I'm also going to publish it on YouTube. Because why not? They're great platforms. But this is going to be somewhat longer format, I have a feeling. It's going to be... You know, we'll have to decide what it is eventually. Maybe we'll let that unfold organically. But maybe it'll have something to do with my thoughts throughout the day. Because, honestly, I have some good ones, and it's about time that I just started recording them, smashing them together, and sharing them with you. See, creation is so much fun. I'm going to look for that battery now. Nope, we're up. Okay, see, and then at this point, because something went wrong, I feel discouraged. But I'm not really discouraged. I'm just, uh, well, I guess I'm just ready to head home. Thank you for listening to this segment. If I don't uh, upload more, at least this one was just under 10 minutes and totally awesome. I remember Buddhas, at the end of the day, the most important thing is to love yourself. Focus on me. Hello, Buddhas. Welcome back to the Buddha Billionaire Show. 